Kristen, thanks for that live report. A group of juveniles was seen carrying guns in Chicopee yesterday, and it turns out they were BB guns made to look like real firearms, which has police and city officials concerned. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joining us live in Chicopee with more details. Glenn. Chris, that incident happened just after five yesterday here at Lincoln Grove Park. And one Chicopee City Councilor tells us those kids with those non-lethal guns could have found themselves in a much more dangerous situation. Chicopee police took to Facebook on Monday night to alert the community about a gun call involving juveniles at Lincoln Grove Park. The post says in part, quote, as officers arrived on scene, they observed a group of juveniles place a backpack on the ground and walk away. A pistol was observed sticking out of the bag and the juveniles were detained while officers investigated further. Also located inside the backpack was an AR style rifle. Both of these weapons were determined to be BB guns. But take a closer look at the photo posted by Chicopee police. They point out the kids concealed the orange tips on the BB guns to make them look real. Chicopee City Councilor Bob Zagorowski tells Western Mass News when he first saw the post, he couldn't tell the difference between these BB guns and real firearms. When you look at the pictures of this gun, what it looks like, that looks like a real gun. You know, how would somebody know unless it was like a trained police officer or somebody that knows? But Zigorowski adds this situation could have turned deadly. What if they pointed that gun at somebody? What if they pointed it at the police officers? The police officer would have been in his right, put your weapon down. And what if they didn't? These kids could have been shot. Zigorowski gives credit to the Chicopee police officers for handling the situation without anyone getting hurt. I thank God this didn't happen. The officers did their job. They, they got their guns. They got the kids' names. No further information about this case is being released at this time. Reporting live in Chicopee, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News. Glenn,